I'm excited to share with you an amazing new discovery that connects the golden ratio, the Shri number 108, which is the secret pattern inside the Fibonacci sequence, and somehow it's mysteriously connected to what we call the doubling sequence or binary code, and I'll explain that. So first of all, the title of this lecture is Harmonic 111 and Harmonic 888 and its connection to the binary code. So first of all, let's start off with a circle. So this point up here is called the zenith. So I'm going to go around the circle, and you can see I'm going anti-clockwise because this story is about a mysterious thing with clockwise energy and anti-clockwise. The punchline to all this is something to do with what we call counter-rotating fields. There's two sequences that are going two different spin ratios. So I want to divide the circle into 24. So we know that if we draw across in the circle, we've got four quadrants, but we want to divide the circle into 24. So if we do it again, if we divide each quadrant, if we divide each quadrant again, like that, you can see we've got eight points, but we want 24. So the secret is between each of these octants, if I put two lines here like that, so I'm going to put circle dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm marking 24 points on the circle. There's a name for it in Greek. I, okay, here's my 24 points. And I'm going to write down the Fibonacci sequence. So... Normally when we write the Fibonacci sequence, we start with the one there. But for a deliberate reason, I'm going to start off center from the zenith. I'm going to start from here. So our Fibonacci sequence is one, one, two, three, five, eight. And you know that when we get to 13, we know that when we get to 13, we take away nine. So digital compression is called continued subtraction of nine, reducing double digit, two digits to a single digits. But instead of taking away nine, I just go one and three, one plus three is four. So I might as well add the digits. So it goes four, three, seven, one, eight, nine. So I've got the first 12 Fibonacci digits reduced to single digits. And it just happens that to get the next one, that all the all the pairs um, add up to nine now. So, so to get the next set of 12, I go one, and eight is nine. One and eight is nine. The, op the complement of two from nine is seven. The opposite of three and six make nine. Five and four make nine. And it just goes one. So these are all pairs of nine. Um, so what we have is 12 nines. If you were to calculate 12 nines, it's 108. So it's called the phi code. Phi code. 108 is what I call this infinitely repeating 24 pattern. It all adds up to 12 nines, a 108, but there's a nine here opposite another nine. There's two nines, so there is another nine that joins a secret, but we're just calling it the 108 code or PC1. So what I would like to do now is I'd like to connect all the ones and then all the eight. So here's a one, there's a one here. I might do it in pink. So from here, I'm going to join, I'm going to join a straight line to the other one here. And you notice that there's another one here. So I'm going to join the one to one there. And if you look again, there's, I'm going to connect this. So look what we've got. We have a perfectly symmetrical equilateral triangle. They're all 60 degrees. This is harmonic 60, base six. Anyway, that's all the one. So we know that there's symmetry within the FICO, but if you look closely, I'm going to join this three eights. There's an eight there, an eight there, and an eight here. So I'll go across one, two, three. And we have this mysterious Star of David again. Oops, sorry. Um, I went, I went to the, um, I missed the eight. I went to the one. So you can see here, just by the symmetry, I knew that I hadn't drawn it right. So now you can see we've got a perfect Star of David, two interpenetrating, or some people call them two interdigitating star uh, triangles, star 
um, it's like a star tetrahedron. So the three-dimensional form of this, as you know, is the star tetrahedron, which is two tetrahedron. So that's really interesting, right? So we can stop there and say, wow, we found symmetry within the wheel of 24. Great. But there's more to it. And so now we know that's the harmonic 111 and harmonic 888. It rings a bell. It can be used in advanced circuitry. It's got great potential. But what's mysterious is that there's there's another pattern. So the first pattern was going clockwise. So this fire code was going one one way. But I'm going to show you another pattern that's going anti-clockwise. And I'm inviting you to look between the, the, the points of the star. So we've identified the six points of the star. But if we look at these three numbers between the one and the eight, I'm going to give them a name. We'll call them gap numbers. So we're going to... Um, Look at that. So we add the sum of 2 plus 3 plus 5 is what? That's um, 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 and 5 is 10. Add the digits. It makes the 1. I'll just put that here. But instead of going clockwise, we're going to go anti-clockwise. So now we look at these three gap digits. 1 and 9 is 10 plus 1 is 11. That adds up to 2. Um, we've got a few more to do. So 2 plus 6 plus 5 is 8 and 5 is 13. Adds up to 4. These three here, 4 plus 6 plus 7 is 17, that adds up to 8. Let's look at these three. 8 plus 9 plus 8 is 8 and 8 is 16, plus 9 is 25, 2 plus 5 is 7. And the last one, um, 4, 3, 7, you've got 10 and 4, 14. Add the digits, it makes a 5. And this sequence here, I'll write it down, is 1, we're going anti-clockwise, 2, 4, Eight, seven, five. One, two, four, eight, seven, five. Um, one and eight is nine. Two and seven is nine. Four and five is nine. So this this all kind of repeats the triple nine code. So there's a lot of information. So shape, in my understanding of sacred geometry, is that shape stores memory. This is highly encoded information, and it's celestial knowledge. It's, this is knowledge that's been recorded in, in the um, star system that's come from other worlds. It's been brought here and we're not really tapping into it. So I believe that this concept of counter-rotating fields that looks at the golden ratio and the, the 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5 Dublin sequence. So when, when we reduce the Dublin sequence, I give it a name because it's six digits. It's called, it has a periodicity of six. But... The doubling sequence is the big numbers, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, goes forever. But when we find what repeats, I'm calling that the binary code, binary code, binary as in like the doubling binary code. So this is quite a rare discovery because um, it's linking two diverse sequences. And it's kind of like one's male, one's female, one spinning one way, the other spinning the other way. So in a way, I see equilibrium and, and equistasis. I see a still point in the center and I see balance and symmetry in this um, construction. So the reason we're teaching this is my job as an educator is to translate number into picture. And when we turn number, which is left brain, um, into like mathematics and numbers is logical rational children don't get it but when we turn the numbers into art which is right brain what we're working with when we're doing high visual content is um feminine right brain mathematics so that's why children of the future will respond to this and they will utilize this and they might make board games or um, experiments or um, three-dimensional constructs with this so i'm really excited about this progression um it, um, it's, a, it's a unique discovery. I'm very proud of it. And I just into sharing that this goes out into the world.